Ever hurt yourself as a child and had someone kiss it better? Did it work? If so, you experience the placebo effect. The kiss didn't actually do anything, but because you believed it did, it made you feel better. While this might be great for moms and dads, it's not so great for doctors. Because when we're trying to test a potential new drug in a clinical study, the placebo effect can cloud our results. It happens like this. To study the effects of an investigational drug, we may give one group of people the investigational drug and another a placebo. They won't know which. Both look the same and are taken in the same way, but the placebo contains no active drug. So in theory, any differences seen between the two groups should happen as a direct result of taking the investigational drug. But it doesn't quite work that way. Because people want to get better so badly, they can actually fool themselves into thinking they are taking the investigational drug and that it definitely works. This can result in people feeling better despite being in the placebo group. It can also amplify any effects seen in the investigational drug group. That is, their high expectations of the investigational drug can make it seem like the investigational drug is working better than it actually is. This sounds great, but the problem is that these results are false. They give study doctors the wrong idea, and this could lead to people being given treatments that don't work in the way we expect. We can do our bit to minimize the risk of the placebo effect, but we rely on you doing your bit too. For example, it can be tempting to tell other study participants about how you are feeling, but it's really important not to do this because it could change the outcome of the study. Why? Well, because telling someone that you feel better or worse could influence how you feel. And if you are talking to another study participant, it could influence how they feel too, even if they're taking a placebo. Clinical studies are at the heart of all medical advances, and so it's very important we get them right. New treatments under study may be better than standard treatments, or they may be worse. And so even if you're taking the investigational drug, there's no guarantee you'll get better. That's why we have clinical studies after all, to find out 